I know what you're thinking. This guy, he's lost his mind on the weekly this week. Nah, man. All those losses were necessary in order to create what I now have, the perfect, amazing bird mental model for how to win the weekly. Early game, it's it's all it comes down to your shops, okay? Early game though, I think any 2-3 unit on round 1 and 2 is what you want. You see a unit that's 2-3, you take it. I will even take a seahorse and then you do we didn't get anything that we can duplicate. That's okay. Most likely unit to stick around. Probably still a seahorse in all circumstances here. We combine them for level up. If you get one early enough, and it's a huge if, but if you get one early enough, hold on, I'm pogging, then you get a woodpecker pineapple situation. Otherwise, leech peacock obviously can do a lot for you. You get a level up, there's your marmoset, a blobfish. I don't say no to a blobfish. I don't say, hey, I'm pogging here, but I don't say no. Um, you know what I do do? I take a little of this. Don't desync me. You don't have the right, okay? Sure, no. It, the level up doesn't really matter is the thing. I think we should just give the Marmoset as much HP as possible. This is a weird team right now, but the stats are good and it's very flexible. We don't need to have a synergy immediately. Of course, it would be nice to have gotten like Leech Pineapple or whatever right out of the gate, but we don't need to concern ourselves with that because we have good stats for now. Or uh, Leech, uh, Leech Peacock, I should say. See, look at everyone doubted this team and it just ran over our opponent. So we're looking for levels. We will take a peacock at honestly at the cost of losing probably I was right now I would say you could dump it for a you could dump the marmoset for it. Hold on, we've created an inception situation. There you go. We have a level coming next time. I would buy this just to raise our chances of maybe getting a second level. And for the time being, given what's available to us right now. I'm gonna roll. I, I struggled to find an option that I loved, so I said roll, okay? And you know what? I mean, with what I'm looking at right now, we may wanna just create a level two um, pug. I don't think the pug necessarily like goes hard, feel free to screenshot or anything like that, but I, th I think it, it getting a level makes a lot of sense. Now, let me look at this. Start me with the pug, because the beetle might not be long for this world. The pug can at least make something level 2. And to be honest with you, a level tier, a level 2 deer kind of goes hard. Feel free to screenshot. Now, caterpillar is not what we're looking for. We pass. Now I'm getting a little bit more concerned that we have no identity as a team whatsoever. But I'm also very happy, because a level 2 deer is actually going to do work for us. Like, the bus, I mean, it literally just soloed the enemy team. 10-10 no, with splash damage is going to be hard to get one over on early here. Um, we have no leech. So there's a part of me that thinks maybe you could, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't have an answer for you. There's a part of me that thinks maybe you just take a level and see if you get another good unit. And then maybe you sell the peacock because it doesn't appear to have a future. And then maybe you'd, you'd try to get your pug leveled up. Now, getting rid of the peacock might seem idiotic and it might be idiotic but i think peacock with leech i mean it's like the classic with rice without rice meme right with rice the peak or with the the leech the peacock is like a an 11 out of 10 without it it's like a six we didn't invest in it early enough because we were hoping a leech would show up and now you know we're paying the price for now crazy as it seems why don't we just take some raw stats why don't we just take some raw garlic I mean, if we could get you to be a level two organically, that would be nice too. Because then you would get the scaling. And we probably, I just think we sell our ladybug at some point to fit another unit on the team. I don't know exactly what that unit is yet, but this Triceratops is kind of going to go off. But we got very good utility afterwards. Our team will fall off right now, but it's doing very well right now. I think you're going to go like this. 
I think you're gonna go like this. Goodbye. We're gonna go like this. Really wanted to see a pill. I, th I thought about the mantis. I really did. No pill either. Okay. What is I thought about selling a seahorse and running two penguins. I could sell a, a blobfish and run two penguins. I don't think it's the way... It, it's not the way forward for us. They got quite a strong unit here. There's no denying that. There's, it's the most snipers I've ever seen in my entire life. Is Sniper City. And look how far that got you. Look how far that got you. Puppy meta's going off, dude. Puppy meta's going off. I just don't see us needing a lemon. Like, I don't, I don't see what it does for us. Now, I, I definitely like a cow. But then there's a part of me that just thinks, why wouldn't you just, like, drag in tier one this and not even worry about leveling the deer? Like, you, you're getting 2-2? Two, two? I don't know. I think we're... We're going to scale much slower than the enemies we go up against. So from basically this point onwards. So we do have to find a way out. Like, this is going to hurt a lot. <laughs> but what do you expect? That's Leech Peacock. If you get it, you run it, and you usually do pretty well. Although I've been the exception that maybe proves the rule. We're probably not going to get there with just pairs, okay? So I... Seahorse... I just believe the time is right for you to go. And I believe you go super pug. And I, I don't think you run dragon. As much as I wanted to. I mean, you're kind of like a, a cheaper dragon enabler. Sure, I guess. And a little walrus up at the front, maybe? Just for now, at least. So we should be creating a level 3 deer. But that should not be enough to win the average game at this stage of our life. But it might be enough to, to cause some problems. Garlic. Garlic. It might not be enough to do anything. We need to think this through. Because um, this is much better. To have you be a level 3 and give out 3... Death touch is absurd. You becoming a level two normally is fantastic. Honestly, I'd rather dump a blobfish here and just... What the heck does a taper do? Does it summon a level three copy of a random friendly pet? When it's level three, I can't scroll. There will be no scrolling for... There we go. Level three copy. Of a random friendly pet. But of, is it only of the ones left alive? I don't know. But I would ra I don't think you're that good right now. I don't, I don't think we're building into you at least. Let's put it that way. Now, having just one unit and it's a puppy is probably not like a viable strategy long term. But, but here we are. And now we got some extra fainting coming out as a result of this. I don't know. I think we probably lose. But we might be able to make it a little interesting at least. Quick little snipe. Quick little snipe. Quick little kill. Quick little kill. And somehow we're in here. Every win is a gift right now because I, I don't see a way for us to get to 10. Maybe if the Orca levels up. Maybe if the Orca has a cheeky little one up attached to it. I still think we got the right distribution here. Like, I think our puppy is hitting the right unit. Three death touch. Oh, but it's probably going to override our one-up, dude. <laughs> Obviously. It did. But that, you know what? Trades very well with this puppy. Weakness is overriding my death touch, you piece. How dare you? And yet, thank you. But Also, by the way, thank you for that. Um, now we're at nine somehow. You need a steak, dude. I mean, we can't really do too much here. Chocolate? Another orca. Was, I mean, that's why I wanted the chocolate. I would still like your one-up to not get overridden, but whatever. You know, we don't... It's in God's hands now. Let's just... Let's leave it at that. Death touch me. Okay, good trades. Good trades. 
we're gonna win, aren't we? I, I sort of don't believe that this is happening, and yet here it is. <laughs> I would not have expected this team to be our 10 piece, but sure, okay. Turns out level three uh, Bulldog is like the best unit of the game, apparently. I don't, I don't know how that happened. I think two iguanas and a seahorse can work, but I'm really, I'm really looking for the two threes. I think we lose round one, unless we're maybe up against crickets. We a legendary slacker. I actually can't believe that one for us. But I guess I can believe it in the sense that it's just stats. It just, you know, we rode the stat wave the whole way rather than worrying about any synergy at all. Okay, you're a 2-3, so I'm going to give you a chance here. We, the iguanas, songs, seahorses is not really like... It doesn't get my blood pumping. But I think we can beat this team. I think we can definitely beat this. I think we just beat this team. Then we get a level. How about a woodpecker pineapple to add to the squad? How about a quick woodpecker? Little kangaroo? Honestly, I think you gotta go. Freeze this kangaroo. Sell the marmoset. You're gonna hate this, by the way. Kill this ant so the iguana guaranteed gets the buff. That allows the kangaroo to have a chance to flourish. It, I'm in the weeds, okay? This is not the way you would do it in, if I was the professor of, of gameonomics, I would not say this is the way you should be running your squad right now. What I would say is, you know, I have the theoretical experience to possibly, in theory, make this work. But I, I'm, I know the risks, so it's okay for me to try. Let's put it that way. You take a cupcake. This is an important round to win. We just take the puppy because it's a 5-2 that gives 1-1. One, one. The mods are not going to screw me too badly. They're not going to screw me badly at all. We're going to love this. Okay, now we got we to gotta get ourselves out of the quicksand. We're lucky to be where we are. Let's get ourselves out of the quicksand. That's not a level. However, it does work well with our iguana. Realistically, we could get a kill or two out of that. I would rather just add you. I know that it's what I'm about to say is going to seem insane. I just feel like it's a little too late for the woodpecker. It, I, I almost feel like it has to be earlier, and I may regret that decision. But I may not. I don't know yet. I, I The game is not decided for me. We're definitely going to win this round. As long as we're still winning, the pivot is not as urgent, although we'd still like to figure out what we're going to do. For now, this works. None of it makes any sense to me. This is good enough to party? Sure. I really want the puppy to hit level 2 so that it can make um, the kangaroo scale much faster. That's very important to me. But as you can see, the stats are also just carrying us right now. But this iguana's fallen off. We need to find a way to keep it in the game. One of these. I mean, to be honest, you could have it do two more damage. But I think the garlic is enabling our kangaroo right now, so I, I respect it. This is one way. Now, this is not like... Do I really want you to be level three? I guess I do. Because Oh, but you'll go f first. So no, this doesn't make any sense. We screwed up our kangaroo on a, on a dare for a joke. We're still going to be in a good spot, but not a sensible move. But this team is, is definitely not taking advantage of, like, new synergies. But that in and of itself seems to be okay. I mean, right now, sell me. I know the, the Iguana doesn't do anything right now. But the Iguana also, it doesn't really have to do anything right now. That's the, that's the secondary aspect. It's going to scale really quickly. The kangaroo is going to be a level 2 without being a level 2. There are a lot of snipe teams. Like, snipe is a big meta in this pack. But for the time being, I feel pretty confident about what we got going on here. That takes us to 7? Holy cow. Give me one of these. And honestly, just, just get this pug going off. I can't believe it's going to work. But it's only going to give plus 3 experience. 
which is like, it's not enough to take something from level one to level three, but it's enough to take something from level two to level three. Still popping. Still pop. The math has just been, you couldn't ask for more perfection out of this. Our iguana is literally just a guy right now. It's hard for me because I don't know what to. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do. I mean, getting the kangaroo to level three would be nice. But I don't. I don't know where this team goes from here, but I do know it's getting a lot of passive stats on one unit every turn. Please, please. Oh no, we created a level two monkey. That's no good. That's no good at all. Okay, fair enough. I mean, level three peacock. That's really good. That's really tough to get around. You should take this. I'm just going to be honest. The iguana doesn't really need it. I think an orca could kind of go hard here. But kangaroo getting to level 3 is, is very important. And we could even move the orca up to the front. Or we could just give the orca a 1-up. We, we might move the orca up to the front as the, as the round progresses here. My kangaroo! My streamer! What did you spawn? Eagle? Well, I hope you had fun with, with your little whatever that was. Because um, now you're dead, and we're on nine wins. A whole lot of spectacle for no good reason. Take a one-up. I'm not ready for this, this jelly. Because you know what this means. If we go 10x with the pug two times in a row, it means it's the best animal in gaming history. No animal in gaming has ever gone as hard as this animal goes. You're so freaking lucky, or are you? You aren't that lucky! Let's go! <laughs> Ma'am, is it possible that the pug is the best animal in Super Auto Pets history? It's more likely than you think. Forget a moth, man. We take, we take two threes. Honestly, you could kind of go off in the early rounds now, too. Maybe a slippery phantom. I can't believe it. Dude, you know what this means? Okay, we're going to lose this round, but that's okay. This means my mental model is... Actually, we're going to draw. My mental model has sort of been correct so far. You go stats early. I'll level with you. Comp no, because two is the max where it scales. So sure, two of these is fine. Then we would actually just love to see another iguana. No iguana, that's fine. No iguana, no problem. You're going to level up. We'll freeze you anyway. We might be able to kill two units just using this combo here. We're not going to, but we are going to take them down to one HP each. Still feels good. We definitely win this. Okay, mental model certified. Now, of course, we need a pug as soon as possible. Apparently, it's the best animal in the pack. Level me. Blobfish, we take those. Blobfish, um, we take those. <laughs> I suppose we take those and get, let me get two shuffles still. Obviously, you're not long for this world. Like, you're gone pretty soon. Double Seahorse is still sick, though, because that means we get to move two units... We still don't kill any, but I'm just going to level with you. For me, that feels like bad luck. And I think we're still going to be fine. I think we're still going to be fine. We're going to be fine. We can't rely on this seahorse iguana combo to, to get us too much, too much purchase, but it's doing work as we speak. With God as my witness, I just think this makes sense. How could I not keep rolling it when I've seen what it's done for me? thus far. We have a problem because you're going to, the puppy's going to go second, which is not what we want. Let's give the puppy a croissant so eventually it goes first and then we'll just throw out a cheeky aardvark here as like a maybe, just as a maybe, okay? My pug, my streamer. Did you have any faint abilities? No, okay. We were close, though. We were close. Double croissant? I don't think he's heard of double croissant, Pippin. Okay, well, you need one of these. 
Don't ever do what I'm doing here. But maybe it makes some sense. Iguana pineapple is so necessary. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, I like this. We like it's weird, but we got a lot of different directions to go in, man. I don't have any faint abilities. I've copied your faint ability. You're gonna have me giving some experience to the dang. Uh, to the dang crow, man. What am I going to do with that? Well, luckily, it's not going to matter. Do we really need a level 2 aardvark? Has society progressed beyond the need for a level 2 aardvark? Either way, we know we want this. We also know we want you to go. We want this on you. Then we're going to want this on you, and it all becomes crystal clear. Then we want maybe a turtle is a good pill target. Forget the aardvark. We could easily create a level 2 turtle in a pinch. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, but I'm kind of loving it. Please, please, kill the kangaroo. Oh, baby. It's beautiful. Magnum. Kangaroo is such... It, you feel like you soul read somebody when you snipe them. Iguana just saved our life, and we summoned a little rooster as well, but the aardvark's not long for this world. It's gone soon. I mean, you take the gimme, right? Like... Let me get the level that allows us to get the next tier of the shop. 2113. It's a shame. Or is it? I think. I think I'm going to stay weird with it. And this is, don't get it twisted, this is mighty weird. <laughs> It's a very strange team with essentially no scaling. This does not seem to have inhibited their plans very much. On the other hand, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it totally screwed them up. Okay. We need the monkey. It, it has to happen. It's probably more important that it happens than you get... I mean, I, I hate to do it, man. It's more important. But then we can't... Cause if I, but if I... But then where do you... I don't know, okay? Our turtles kind of go... In, the blobfish can go. It's one XP. Create a super turtle, the likes of which we've never seen before. It doesn't really matter where the pug is right now. It will next turn. I think you just make your strongest unit better. And then actually the pug could really use the melon armor. That's definitely true. So we are, we're trying to create a super turtle. That's, that's the ticket. I don't know what's happening. That seemed pretty bad for me. It doesn't seem like it's getting any better. <laughs> Wait a minute. We draw these. Let's go. Okay. You like this? Honestly, you could take a lemon because you're going to get buffed like crazy. Now it matters, and you still go first for the time being. But that's not going to last too much longer. In fact, plus two, it's not going to last very long at all. I hate to say it. The time has come to dump the pug. And it's, it's done good work for us. And by good work, I mean it's existed for us. But the penguin just makes more sense to get the scaling going, the gangbusters here. But we have a real problem. And the real problem is that I think I've just invoked the curse of the pug. Hit the turtle. Hit the turtle. Thank you. And the curse of the pug is, is, is just as simple. I think when I had the pug, I didn't lose. Now that I don't have the pug, I don't feel confident anymore. It's thrown me way off my game. I don't respect you. I respect you. The yell respecter has logged on. Get this turtle scaling even faster to go even further beyond. I would sell a seahorse. Would I? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, the lynx could go off here. Lynx pineapple? Are you kidding me? 
We got three level threes. Would I sell a seahorse? I don't know. I'm happy we've neutralized their woodpecker, though. That Triceratops is gonna go hard, for sure. Holy cow. He's still going hard. I don't think I can I can get one over on you, man. I what are you gonna do with a one-two with melon armor? I don't think so. You gotta go. You gotta go for now. We're creating the Uber Turtle, okay? What else do we want to see? I have no idea, quite frankly. For now, I think you could at least do this very, very normal play. Now, the Orca has been great for us in the past as well. 2436 Lemon Turtle. No other units have any stats at all. And yet, there's a part of me that thinks this, this could work. Maybe it's the stupid part of me that thinks that. Maybe it's the genius part of me that thinks that. Okay, we very, very barely made it, but level me. We needed to see an orca on that. You needed to buy one orca. <laughs> okay. I don't think this has a chance of getting the 10, but I do think it's very humorous. I think it's quite funny. And that's worth something to me. No, the greatest lemon of all time. Of all time. This is not good. Not good. Not good. It just keeps getting worse. <laughs> this was an insane video, but I had a wonderful time. We went 10 10 6 with all pug teams. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. The curse of the pug is now on. And I'll see you next time. See ya.